Hello mga homeschooling moms and dads. Um, welcome back po to our channel. For those po na bago pa lang sa channel namin, my name is Chris po. I'm a homeschooling mom of two. We are actually based here in the UAE and um, we've been homeschooling since 2020. So, kung hindi pa po kayo nakapag-subscribe, please do subscribe po to our channel. And if you like this video, please click po yung thumbs up. It's been actually a very busy holiday season po para sa amin. Medyo naging busy kami this, um, you know, last month, uh, December. Kasi, of course, bukod sa trabaho namin, nag-prepare din po kami para sa aming mga celebrations. This season po, yung mga bata excited, ano, eh, excited sila dahil magkakaroon sila ng maraming gifts. I really hope you had a Merry Christmas po uh, with your family and I also hope that you know this coming year sana uh, maging more blessed pa po tayo, maging okay po especially situation po natin dito sa pandemic. On this video po I'm gonna share with you how we do our history lessons so keep on watching po. So of course, at the start po of the school year, I've already planned our entire year and of course, I did the curriculum mapping and kasama po dyan ang um, history po natin. Since nag-independent kami, we plan to incorporate po yung Charlotte Mason method po sa aming homeschooling. Si Charlotte Mason po is actually a British educator. Hindi ko na muna masishare yung in details about Charlotte Mason, no? This time po, we are going to focus po yung mga ginagawa namin lessons to incorporate her method of uh, uh, teaching. Charlotte Mason's method po of teaching kasi, especially sa history, uh, na instead of um, reading po yung outline sa libro, um, she recommended to read biographies or autobiographies of famous people, you know, that we want to study. So how did we do ours? Andyan po yung nag-research po ako talaga about Charlotte Mason. So marami pong um, resources available online, of course. And andyan din po yung YouTube. and dami pong um, nag-share din po ng information or paano ginagawa yung method niya. One resource po na, na nakita ko is yung Charlotte Mason Philippines. Dito ko po nakuha yung ginagamit po namin ngayon to actually log yung mga information about what we studied. Like the dates, like yung mga names of course of the famous people, yung mga special, mga important events. We log this on this um, book of centuries. So to better keep track po or para mas madali pong makita ng mga bata yung napag-aralan natin, um, nilalag po namin sa book na to yung mga important information, yung dates, yung events, yung, um, yung mga tao of course. So ito po yung um, book of centuries na na-download po, po sa ano. Na-download po po yan sa Charlotte Mason Philippines. It's free. You just need to register po dun sa website nila. And then mai the download nyo na po itong free copy. I'm gonna share pala yung link po nung, ano, nung Charlotte Mason Philippines para po makapag-download din kayo just in case you want to use this for yourself as well. So ito po yung pinaka-content niya. Ito meron pong instructions. So part po ng history lessons namin, um, we're using po yung history of history. So we do study about, you know, history from the Bible. Meron din po kaming artist study, meron din po kaming musician study, at saka meron din po kaming poet study. So yung mystery of history po namin ginagamit is ito po. So medyo makapal siya. We got this from ano, when we were still in homeschool global. So hindi pa namin siya tapos, so kinuntinyo namin siya this um, second year. So, medyo makapal siya. What's good about this book kasi meron siyang instructions kung paano nyo gagawin yung lessons, kung ano yung way to track it. Meron kaming uh, ginawa dito na from this book then um, they've suggested to create this parang sa, sa wall. Sa wall na to, makikita dito yung um, events po um, starting from 4004 BC. So, ito yung pinaka-wall namin. So, of course, nilagyan namin ng title, Mystery of History. So, nag-start kami from 4004 BC. And, ayan na yung nag... So, sila yung gumagawa ng artwork. Or, minsan, nag-print na lang kami para hindi na sila mag-drawing. And, of course, nilalagyan, nilalagyan din namin ng dates, ng important events. And, of course, yung names po ng mga famous people na, na pag-aaralan namin. 
po sa iba naman namin studies, um, kagaya kunwari sa RT study, so meron po kaming ginagamit ng form. So, I actually created this lang for us. Uh, pero nakakuha din naman ako ng idea online ng mga resources. Bali, ginaya ko lang yung ibang tingin kung um, pwede namin i-apply sa amin, sa mga lessons namin. So, ito po yung example. So, this was the example of the form which we already filled. So, RT study. So this is the form that we have. We have the artist name, the birthday, time period, yung birthplace, yung famous works na. So um, it's musician study naman. Ito yung ginagamit namin form. So musician study. Of course, we will put here um, the, the musician information. And then kung ano yung mga natutunin nila for the day. We actually use this like, um, we, we do this once a week. So as Charlotte Mason suggested, uh, we get information online. You know, meron tayong ano, yung mga biographies nila, so we need to research ko siya. Biographies ng uh, musician, yung history niya. I also use YouTube. Meron dun sa YouTube kasi nasa search yung mga um, for kids, yung storytelling about the, the particular musicians. We will have um, a certain day po, we will sit down and watch YouTube um, clips um, together with the kids. So, mas uh, appreciate nila yun. So, bukod dun sa study namin, meron po din po kaming pinapanood na clip para mas lalo po nilang maintindihan. Mas okay po yung meron mga forms, ano, para dun po nila sinusulat yung mga updates, dun po nila na susulat yung mga imp important um, events and uh, important dates din po dun sa uh, particular person na pinag-aaralan nyo. So, once po na pag-aaralan namin nun, after each lesson po, kukunin po nila yung Book of Centuries, i-update po nila doon yung dates na mga important dates po na sa mga napag-aaralan namin. So, ito naman po yung, ano, yung sa poet study naman namin. Of course, meron din po kami form. And ito po yung form namin din ginagamit. So, this is um, the poet study sheet. So, makikita nyo meron sila mga drawings dyan. And then, of course, yung, um, yung poem na pinag-aralan namin. So, it's really nice. It's actually fun to do this with the, with the kids. And hindi lang sila yung natuto. Pati tayo pwedeng matuto, no? Kasi, like, like me, hindi naman ako na-expose sa ganitong klase ng pagtuturo. So, na-appreciate ko talaga yung um, method ni um, Charlotte Mason. So, as you go to your lessons, you know, um, using this method, na-appreciate ko siya kasi nag-enjoy talaga yung mga anak ko kasi hindi siya boring. Dahil, halimbawa, yung, um, kunwari, yung nag-aaral kayo about the musician history. So, pag binasa mo sa kanila yung history about that person, yung ano yung struggles niya when he was still starting, then manonood kami ng sa short clip ko sa YouTube, they like it very much kasi sa tingin ko mas madali para sa kanilang mag-grasp yung information and then parang lalo nilang natututunan by heart yung mga lessons sa pinag-aaralan namin. So I really uh, like actually the method. So I still have a lot to learn po about this method pero I'm happy na nag-start kami. The best thing about this book, at least meron silang pwedeng balikan paglaka nila, no? And then even me, ang daming natutunan pag um, nag-aaral kami ng history. And this can also be my reference for my son. But I'm also using this for myself. Kasi it's really fun learning about history, no? Lalo sa mga bata. Kasi you'll be surprised sa mga reactions nila. Um, lalo yung anak ko mas bata na appreciate niya at saka enjoy pa siya pag nag-aaral kami kasi parang it's a storytelling time for us so he really likes it very much even my um, daughter it para siyang storytelling na um, once nag uh, natapos kami dun sa pinag-aaralan namin magsi-share sila ng input um, kung ano yung napag-aaralan nila or yung kung mga tanong na meron sila paano ang ganto paano ang ganyan it's like a bonding time also for us so, I'm gonna share po yung mga link na tingin kong makakatulong sa inyo and then yung link po ng kung saan nyo madadownload yung Book of Centuries. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan dito sa video na to. Sa ating mga homeschoolers, I hope you can continue to be patient, you can continue to love what you're doing for our children kasi it will give them a good foundation for their future at saka sa kanilang magiging character. Thank you so much po for watching. This is Mommy Chris again. I'll see you again in our next video. Maraming salamat po.